All right then gang, so in this video, we're gonna be working with images in React Native. Now, I've already prepped a few different images and they're all up here on my GitHub repo. So I'm just gonna show you where to get them from. So you wanna check the React Native tutorial repo first of all, the link to that is down below. And then if you go to the Lesson 27 branch down here to see all the Lesson 27 code and files, then go into game zone, then go into assets. You're gonna see all the different files I'm using here, all the different images. So rating two, for example, looks something like this. And also we have a heart logo, which we're gonna put in the header, which looks something like this. So you can download all of these from here, either individually by right clicking on saving or by just going to the root of lesson 27 branch, then clone or download, you can download the zip file and extract those images. Once you've done that, I want you to place them inside the assets folder right here, like I've done, so that we can use them inside our project. So then now we have those images inside the assets folder. What I'd like to do is use these different rating images right here. So rating one is one heart, rating two, two, three is three hearts, etc., all the way up to five. I wanna use those to display the game rating for each individual item over here. Instead of showing five, show five hearts, or instead of showing three, then show three hearts, etc. So let's now go into the review details screen because that's where we're gonna output the images. So choose that. And then we're gonna do that right here. So let me, in fact, delete that for now. And I'm gonna replace this with a bit of new code. So first of all, we're gonna have a view component for the rating because inside this, we're gonna have a bit of text and an image. And this view is gonna wrap both of those together. So we are gonna apply a style prop to this. I'll style this up shortly. For now, we'll just give it a style of rating. And then inside here, we want a text component first of all. And the text is gonna say game zone rating colon and a space. And then under that, we want an image. Now, in order to do this, we have to import image at the top. I'm gonna delete button because we don't need that anymore and import the image component instead. And all we need to do is use that image tag right here, it's self-closing, and then this needs a source prop. Now the source is equal to a function called require, and then in here, the string to what image we want to use. So for example, if we want to use this thing right here, rating one, then we need to place inside require dot dot forward slash to come out of the screens folder, then we want to go into the assets folder and then rating-1.png. I think that's what it's called, rating1.png. So if I save this now, then hopefully we should see this image appear over here. Now we're not going to because I've said Soros instead of source. So let me just correct that, source. And now when I click on a review, we should see this one star rating. So let me click on Final Fantasy. Okay, so we have this error because we don't have a styles variable yet set up. So let's just create that const styles is equal to style sheet dot create and pass in an object. Okay, so now we've created that we shouldn't get this error. Okay, so click on Final Fantasy, and now we can see this one star, but it's the same for every review. We are just outputting the same one star or one heart rating for every single review. Now that's not actually the case because this is a three heart rating, this is a four and this is a five. So we actually want to dynamically output a different image depending on that rating. Now you might think that we could just use a bit of string concatenation here or we could use a template string and output a dynamic image each time because we get the rating um, from the params, we pass that in, but that won't actually work. So let me just demonstrate this. Say for example, I wanted to output two dynamically, right? Then we'd use string concatenation here, right? Or a template string, it doesn't really matter. They're both essentially gonna do the same thing. So I could say plus and then whatever the rating is, so two in our case, and then plus PNG. Now that could be a variable, you know, it could be this thing right here. In fact, we'll do that just to demo this and change that to rating. 
right? So that is actually going to be a three, right? It returns three. If we go to the app.js, we can see that because we have, not the app.js, sorry, the home.js, we have some state and we can see over here that this is three, okay? So we're concatenating that into this string and it doesn't matter that it's a number because it automatically will convert that into a string. Now, if I say this, it's not actually going to work. And that's because we can't pass through any kind of concatenated string to require. We can't do that. So how do we get around this? Well, the way to do this is to actually define all of our images, our dynamic images somewhere else and use a require for each individual image. And then in this dynamically use one of those require statements. So this is all going to make sense in a second. But what I'm going to do is go to styles and go to global.js. And I'm just going to add them into this global file because these are going to be global images, but you could create them somewhere else if you prefer. And what I'm going to do is export a constant right here. And that constant is going to be called images and it will be equal to an object. And that object will contain a key called ratings. So this ratings is going to be an object in itself and it's going to have several key value pairs. Now the first one is going to be one for a rating of one and that is going to be, re oops, that should be a colon and that will be require and we need to pass in the path to the heart one or the rating one image, which is dot dot forward slash assets and then forward slash rating hyphen one dot PNG. Now we'll do the same thing for the rest. So let me just duplicate that a few times, change this to two and this to two, this to three and this to three, this to four and this to four, and then finally this to five and this to five. So now we have this constant images, which is an object and we have a ratings prop or rather a ratings property on that object. That is an object in itself. And inside there we have one, two, three, four, and five and they are requiring those individual images, okay? So we're not now concatenating any kind of string inside require. We're not doing that. Instead, we're hard coding these strings, but we can still reference these dynamically now from this file by dynamically using one of these values, right? So this is all gonna make sense in a second. What I'm gonna do is import images into review details first of all. Let me get rid of this code right here. So we had the require statement still. Now let's import images. Oh, in fact, we can do it from up here where we have global styles because it's from the same file. So we have images now. And what we're going to do inside here is now require images dot ratings, which is this property right here. Yeah. And then we need to dynamically choose which one of these values we want, which one of these things here. And we can do that by using the parameter that we get from the navigation object. So what I'm actually going to do is just do a variable up here at the top to get that constant and call it rating and set that equal to navigation dot get param. And it's the rating that we want like so. So now we have that stored inside this thing right here. So now we're saying, OK, well, we want to require images or rather we don't need to pass that into require anymore. We just need to output it here in the source because the value is going to be a require ultimately. So the source is going to be images dot ratings and then pass into square brackets rating, which is either going to be one, two, three, four or five, depending on what the rating is here. We pass that into the component and now it's been stored in here. So in this case, it should be three. And we're saying, OK, well, now the source of this image is going to be from images dot ratings, which is this object right here. And then in square brackets, I'm passing in either one, two, three, four or five. If it's three, then it's going to look at this and say, OK, this one right here, it's going to grab that key and the value from that key and put that value over here inside the source. So now the source has a value of require, which is using a hard coded string, but it's still dynamically outputting the correct image. I hope that all makes sense. So now if we save this, then this should hopefully work, but something always goes wrong. So don't hold your breath. And if we click on one of these, we can see now, voila, we get three hearts. Awesome. And over here we get four hearts and over here 
we get five hearts. Okay, so that's looking a bit better. The last thing I want to do is just paste in a few styles down here. And let me put my semicolon on first of all. Paste those in here. Remember, we gave this view surrounding the text and the image a style of styles.rating. That's what we're creating right here. The flex direction is row so that these two things sit next to each other rather than on top of each other as they currently do. The justify content is center, meaning they'll be in the center of the card horizontally. The padding top 16, margin top 16, so there's a bit of space from the top. Border width of one at the top only right here. So we're just gonna have a border at the top and the color of that is gonna be a light gray just to separate it from the rest of the content. So let me save that and refresh over here. See if it works. And if we click on one of these now, then that looks a lot better. Okay, so this is now taking shape. We have our images correctly showing now. So remember, all we do to show an image is use an image component, which we import from React Native. It needs a source. The value of the source should be a require function, which requires a specific image. We're dynamically grabbing a require function using this global images variable, which is over here like this, okay? So that's all there is to using images. We are gonna use images as well in the next video, but we're also gonna look now at background images too.